Hey everybody, I'm Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants and today I wanted to show you guys how Bricks CAD BIM can both import and export uh, using both IFC or Industry Foundation Class Format and BCF Building or excuse me BIM Collaboration Format Files right? very very easily and very very simply. Um, right now Bricks CAD BIM imports from and exports to IFC right? and it currently supports IFC 2x3 and IFC 4. So, you know, we can add any number of custom properties to objects in our BIM model. So let's say we have this architecture model and we want to create a custom property for our windows. So we're going to create a new property set here and we're going to call it custom properties windows. Okay. Right. And next we'll apply this property set to a specific type of objects, in this case windows. Right. And then we can create new properties inside that property set. Uh, for example, we can create one for cost. And I'll create another one here for uh, manufacturer. Right? So you go ahead and build those. Right? And just go ahead and say OK. Right? Now, um, when you go in and you select a window on screen, right, you'll see that these custom properties are now available. Right? So we go to our properties tab right? and kind of scroll down to the custom properties area. And you can fill in the, the proper values for those. Right? So I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. Right? And you see that I can go in and I can fill in the cost. Right? In, in euros or dollars, whatever I want, I go and I'm going to set in the, uh, the manufacturer's name. Right? I can fill that information out. Right? No problem. I can build and structure in all of my own custom properties. So now we can go ahead and we can actually export this out to an IFC. Simple one button click. Right? And from here, right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you see we got the different formats. I, I can go ahead and I'm going to open this up. Right? in um, BIM Collab. Right? Give it one second, it'll load up here in just a moment. Right? And if I export this out, right, I'm, I'm now able to go in here into the 3D uh, viewer presenter here in whatever format you're using and you'll see that I'll be able to find these properties here as well. Right? So within this model, I'm going to go over to the side, I'm going to go to the Custom Properties tab and you'll see that the custom properties that I created in BricsCAD BIM and I exported as part of the IFC are here. Right? Very easy to do. Right, now, going the other direction, it's also possible to export from an IFC. So here we have an IFC file, right? That's a structural model of the same building, right? And I can import this into BricsPad, uh, BricsCAD, excuse me, automatically, right? And everything that I choose here from the IFC file, right, is going to be converted to a native DWG format, so that I can make modifications to the model as I need, right? So just give it a second here to just load itself up. There we go. All right, there it is. Okay, so it comes in. All right, now I can add or modify properties within this document, much like we did with the architectural model, right? Or we can make geometric modifications. All right, you see, I can just go in, I can pull, I can stretch, I can move. All right, so it's a very easy, you know, thing to go in and pull from an IFC and then make the modifications I need. I need. Um, BricsCAD BIM also supports BCF workflows, either by um, importing. BCF files. Right? You see, here I can just go to the BCF tab. I can bring in, um, you know, log into BIM Collab. I can bring in BCF files from here or BIM Sync or any other service. Right? We're going to go to the to the BIM Collab here today, right? And import right, a BCF file that has issues saved in it. Right? So I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and find the one. Here we go. Structural beam connection. I have a problem. Right? So I've got a, an an issue going on, right? So opening it up with the issue, you see I can see more details about it and any possible discussions or comments by other people, right? Clicking the thumbnail, right, will take you to the location of that specific issue. This allows for easy navigation through the model, right? So in this case, what I need to do is, is I need to create a higher level of uh, detail connection between the steel members, right? I've already prepared such a detail over here. Right? And I've saved it in the details panel. Now I simply drag and drop this detail right, into the location. Right? And it will search for other possible locations where it can be applied. Right? Let, you know, go ahead and accept this. Right? So I'm going to drag this in. Right? Give me one second. There we go. Right? And now you see I accept that and it goes in and it finds all the other locations. Right? A suggested total of eight. And I can just go ahead and enter to accept that, and it applies that condition to all eight of those, right? Now the issue has been resolved, right? And now that that's been resolved, it's been fixed, what I can do, right, is I can actually take a screenshot 
of the resolved issue. You see over here on the bottom side, right? I'm typing in, I resolved the issue, right? We're all good to go. We can fix this, right? And then I can just go ahead and grab the screenshot button, right? And I, there it is, it's showing me what's on screen. And I can just go ahead and add the comment, right? Post it up, show everybody else that it's all been set and resol uh, resolved, excuse me. In this way, it's really easy to communicate about any issues using the BIM collaboration format for your standalone files. That's it. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.